Hi, I'm Ben and this is Landlord Studio. To quickly log income from the property dashboard, tap on the green log payment button. This will take you to an auto-populated screen with the expected rent filled in. If you enter an amount over the expected rent, the app will ask if you want to overflow payments, which means the excess rent will be credited to the next payment period. If you're entering another kind of income, such as damages or deposit, tap on the payment type to select from the list. You can add your own payment types via settings. And if your tenant has not paid the full rent amount, toggle the rent payment period complete toggle to the off position. This will then work out the rent remaining and show you what is owing. A final feature on this page is the option at the bottom where you can choose to send the tenant a payment receipt. Toggling this on will email a receipt to the tenant when you hit save. Right, now we're going to hit save and you'll see the rent due date has now moved to the next payment period to let you know when the next payment is due. You can view and edit all historical income associated with this lease by tapping on the payment history button. From here, you have another option to email receipts to tenants, as well as edit or delete previous payments by tapping on them and changing the incorrect details. You can also log payments using the quick action button or by reconciling from your connected bank account both of which we will cover in separate videos. All right, thanks for watching.